Hey, what's up guys? All right, um, we're in the shop today. We're gonna be working on the frame for the CNC plasma table. And um, we've got a few things put together, but I just wanna kinda catch you guys up and show you how I got to this point so far. Uh, so you guys can do the same if you wanna build one of these. So here's what we're gonna do is, um, this is the table we're trying to build here. These are uh, one view of the prints right here. And uh, inside of here, is a cut list. So he's got it broken down in different columns here depending on what size table you're building. And since I'm building a 10 foot long table, this is gonna be my column right here. And he's got everything in inches. Now he's got a couple sections here for all tables, uh, typical like the length of the legs. You know, all the height of the table is gonna be about the same unless you wanna change that. So what I did here is I took all this and uh, the counts on the side here. So for like uh, one and a half by two by 11 gauge rectangle tube, uh, it says two here. So obviously I need 144 inches, which uh, I believe is 12 foot. So I need two of those. So I need a total of 24 feet. So what I did over here is I went ahead and detailed that out, tell them what I want one and a half by two inch 11 gauge i said 10 gauge by 25 foot so um, basically this is called just like detailing out because um, if you hand this to a steel supplier they're going to go cross-eyed and hand it back to you and tell you to just figure out how much you need of all this stuff anyways so that detailed list turned into this pile of steel right here that's now on the floor of the shop and we're going to go ahead and get started and start um, marking them up and getting the pieces cut so we can weld them. So obviously we're going to need some tools in order to do this project. And most people jump straight to this side of the table over here, which is chop saw, cutting wheels, crescent wrench, some layout tools like a tape measure, soapstone, and speed square. But really what I want to talk about is this side of the table, which is the PPE. And this is just much of a tool as anything else. So seriously, there's no fucking reason to be out here and not wearing your PPE. Uh, if you wanna be out here and making money and supporting your family and doing what you gotta do in the shop, you need to be safe because the fastest way to lose money on a project is get hurt on it. Protect yourself, wear your stuff. I'm always out here um, and I've always got my safety glasses, always have my hearing protection and uh, I don't always wear gloves, but I have them available if it's something that I need. So just watch out for yourself, guys, because nobody's going to be watching out for you in the shop, especially like me, uh, if you spend a lot of time out here alone. If I get hurt, um, you know, who knows if there's going uh, to be anybody out here to scoop me up or help me out. Just watch yourself, man. You're telling me you showered, got dressed, traveled all the way down here just so you can stand around and watch the DJ? Alright guys, so we've been cutting out for a few hours and I think I've got everything cut out for the base of the table. Whittling down on the raw material pile and now we have a nice organized labeled cut pile of raw material right here ready to turn into the base of the plasma table. So I'll keep you guys posted and follow along. Like me on Facebook, check out the website maker-table.com. It's now up and running. You can uh, see what I've been up to there. Yeah. Adios.